all right welcome guys this is Zubuli again and in this part of this uh, series on watch me redesigning phpfusion.com uh, I've set up myself a small goal uh, as I said the other time I'm trying to reconvert the website as it is here with from the old version of PHP Ocean to the new version which is launch course the particularity is this the new ver the old version was built fully with PHP and the front end was kind of handled with PHP mixed in it so I'm trying to have uh, the website here powered by uh, slim framework and secondly I'm trying to have the front end managed differently with uh, tweak templates so as you can see here um, I have my in from the old version you can see that I have some preview of the blog post so I would like to have that back on the new version so far so the main idea is to try to get the the existing website rebuilt then I can think of uh, adding new features or maybe along when I feel like it is important now I insert a new feature before I even move on I'll just do it some uh, kind of I'm not planning this website as uh, I'm not planning whatever I'm going to do whenever I'm shooting a video I just need to see that okay I have something to fix and then uh, when I sit down I'll, I'll just do it so there's no planning so you will see me coding naturally as I usually do you will see the struggle and uh, the cry and, and laugh and the laughter so without wasting too much time let's see what we have so here we can see okay I need to list the existing post so first of all I have to check my database what do I have there so let me check uh, I think uh, yes so I go to the database and the old database is this one this PHP ocean something UPX Lite. so it, there are two databases the demos are inside this one and the new database is Lance course and as I was saying the other time because I'm using a uh, um, Laravel uh, I think uh, eliminate, uh, eliminate eloquent uh, ORM so kind of the database structure the table structure change so when you look at an example which is the block table which I already created at that time with the migration when we check the structure you can see uh, so it looks like this the particularity is these two fields which is the created ad and then updated ad although I could have kept my old things and do it but I just want to follow the standard a bit so that whoever comes to work on the same code base shouldn't have to worry and uh, right now I have the um, the title the slog except the text the tags status and cover but and then the old version of the database when we take this same table the table's name is different order so I think it was news then um, news so it should be this so when we look at this table so opening okay when we look at this table we can see that the fields are different so there is no way for me to uh, import the content of this table and then quickly uh, run it here so I have to get a way of kind of while importing the data from the, the old table it should also insert it to the uh, new table yeah from, from the old table to the new table so do the the copy from the old table and do, do the insert on the old table respecting the fields names so if it, the fields were having the same names and I were having the same fields it wouldn't be a problem I just have to export this and have the SQL uh, code and then just run it here so what I would try to do is first of all try to get data in this tables this block table so for instance if I try to uh, run a, a query which is for instance I do okay select all sorry select all from lens course dot blog that's so I want to see whatever is inside the table lens course dot blog so let me see what I have so basically we have nothing in the table so if I do select all from uh, so PHP the name is PHP PHP occup PHP occup x underscore light dot news so to see whatever we have there 
and I should have something. Okay, so here you can see all the content that we have in the database, so somewhere around 100 rows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, I think I found some technique, a small trick some guy used on uh, sl uh, Stack Overflow. So I'm going to do insert and um, then I'll precise the name of the fields I need to have in that's the name of the, the fields from the, uh, on the new table so um, then then from I said uh, from where I think uh, wait, wait a second what was that first I think we, ins we do insert and then values I think that's the, the, the syntax values and then in the values we do another select F and then we specify the fields okay so select something something from so that from let me keep it capital from then that will be php occup something light dot news so what that means is while we are inserting this and we specify the values so i, I hope this is right here so uh, let me try let me just try with one field so i will do um we we'll start with the new the title so let me do insert into i think insert into so that that should be land scores dot new no dot blog land scores dot blog values so the value should be the fields names so that should be let me just use one to try the request title select title from php ocean something something dot news yes so with this simple request i'm supposed to select to uh select which is the news title that should be the title news yeah title news oh man title news so go in the old table which is news select the field title news and then do the insertion of that value uh, fetched into the new table block with a uh, inserted exactly in the field table i hope i'm right and let's see what it does so i have an error <coughs> you have an error in your sql syntax check the manual that corresponds to your mysql server version for the right syntax to use near select title uh select i think i don't even need a bracket here so if I do this from that should be fine. Then we run it again. You have an error in your SQL syntax. Check the manual that corresponds to you. Whatever, whatever for right syntax to use. Select title from. Um. Wait, wait, wait. I think that's SQL issues. I uh, should have taken some SQL courses. Um. That's select insert into line square something new value. Title no no no. This doesn't make sense. I think value should be title. Mm. Let me see if the line goes. Let me google it a bit. Uh, yes <clears throat> how the line goes um, all right i think uh, yes there's some stack overflow hmm. the line is bad oh man So something like this and set into table the fields okay 
so you need to table the fields then select fields from so insert into table field uh, insert wait, 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 wait. insert into table here yeah. so insert into table specify my database I think they didn't specify value then the fields okay and then select so I think this is the mistake I'm making let me select, select is um, select insert into tables so title title then select the fields from table there's no need for bracket select the fields from table no, no need for this bracket so we run it and see <coughs> slug doesn't have a default value uh, slug okay i think i made the slug to be mandatory so um i will have to add slug and here and um, because this old table doesn't have any slug so i, w I think I, I have to do something about it so select title and i'll just choose something which is um title again title news so i'll use the same fields to fill the, the slug and that's gonna be some way to um, run oh man thank you the manual that correspond to your sql in the right syntax to use near title news at like at length because it's two the same field twice so <coughs> so i have to think of something how do i set default value so should I probably use a different field which is uh, let me take ID news IDs ID news just like that uh, except it doesn't have a default value except to is mandatory uh, this is crazy and um, except and the except should be the short description here so that's short text news short text news so we we'll go ahead again unknown column except except that should be from this okay let me copy so right i think i was wrong field text doesn't have a default value okay at the end i think i have to insert everything so let me just do everything let me just do everything so we have um the id we don't need that title slug title slug except title slug except okay then i have text and tags text tags um status cover cover and um author id so let me pick this author id then create the dates because i want to change the date was uh, in timestamp so i want it to be converted into a uh, date time so it should i need it created at then updated at okay let me break it down here mm, that's execute sql you know okay nice. so um, we go for these fields mm. so now select title news we go to the next the old table select title news that's for the title 
the slug i've already used the id means by default because i'm going to re replace that later because i can repeat the same field and uh, i don't need to call the ids because they will be done is uh, automatically so by using the id news here i'm kind of using it temporarily to replace to be filled in the slug area because the slug definitely i have to create it manually later because the slugs were generated from the code it wasn't generated in the database side so this is another issue i have to fix seo wise so after the title the, the title we have the slug then we have the except we have already filled that then we have the text itself and the text i think that is called let me change the display um, okay so okay so we have um short text news tags i think we have full text after the accept short text accept we have text here so we need to have the full text news first full text news then tags come after the tags we have um <coughs> the tags we have the status i think we also have status news status news then um we have uh, cover i think the cover too was oh that's news image you can see that the naming wasn't really cool news image and then um status i think after the news image which is the cover status yeah, okay cover and then author id the author id was uh, what was that what was that i think i was okay author is simply author yes so simply the author and then we have uh, created art and updated art and those ones were um, date edition and last update so date edition last update update from then i think uh, this should be fine so let me try running okay last update date edition okay let's see if you are lucky so data truncate incorrect data time value yes i think uh, for the data i think there was this function uh I think there was this function to convert the date time into uh, uh, I think it from the timestamp to the date time so that was for these two fields I think uh, there was let me check convert timestamp into date time my SQL so 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 there was this function i think i think i think that should be from unix time yeah times time i think from U unix time will be fine okay so it uses from unix time from unix time from unix time so i'll go this way from unix time then bracket then the same thing here from unix time Oops. and then we close the bracket then we run it again well it seems something is going on all right uh statistic insert into something something Thursday. i think i have some activity here so normally if i check here now uh, uh, So if I check um, the content of the table right now, that should be, let me just create a new request. Um, I don't have that, so let me do this.
So select Squares dot blog. That one. All right. So we have some content now from the blog. On the blog table. So I don't know. Things don't always look cool. I certainly have to go through and kind of try to fix whatever is to fix manually. So now uh, let me try to go back to our website, which is um, last course, and see what happens. Yeah, the content shows up. And then this shows up because I, I had already done the work on the code side, which is um, here. So if you go to learn course, is the views and the source code, um, app, then I think uh, that should templates instead, and then uh, no, no layout, the index. So if we check the index page, which is uh, as the home content. This. so next to this we have it so i had already run through it and kind of this article variable is already set in the controller i think the model instead so when we check the data no not the data models and we see the blog model i've already done that work which is get the post so i'm limiting the post to eight post and the default order is descendant so i'm returning from the model tick the limit whatever we would have set here so whenever i'm calling the article so if we check the home controller which is this one from where we load the home page so i called i created these variable articles and then i'm calling the post model post model i didn't set any parameter that's what because i want us to be able to set some parameters here in time that's why i made the function to have this option so in at some parts of the, the the website i might like to display the latest blog post or the earliest blog post and limit the number of them uh, a number of how many of once and so i should be able to do that easily everywhere i want i wasn't able to do that in at in the old version so i realized it was a limitation so i thought of it right now before i go further so first of all when we invoke the main the route the home route which is from here the other time i was here and i had one route i think i have two for now so i have the home route which is here the when the home route is called we go to this home class and then we invoke and we use the invoke function which is this one by default so we set a data which is we go and fetch posts through the model post blog instead so we go through the model blog which gives us the function post. You can see I have a function post here with an ID whenever I want, just one post. Okay, so we fetch some eight posts here and order, which is that we take the latest articles based on this setup here. And then once we have the latest post, we render the home view, which is this um, index.tweak. And then definitely this variable, uh, this variable here, is injected in the template so i can use it so i'm going through it i'm saying for post which is now each singular post is in the variable post and the article post and we should go this so we load each article each article is uh, uh, surrounded with an uh, a tag so some way do this or this and all this so I'm supposed to set the path to the URL, uh, the path to the article, which is when you click and you have it. I've set the images as backgrounds so that I can easily format it and, and I don't have them distorted like in the old version. <coughs> then the post title comes in. So the display is some way what we have here now. So this is what we have. And when we click, I'm using the slug because I want to have the slug. You can see that uh, the ID is repeating twice in the status bar down the browser here somewhere here so i'm supposed to have the slug then the id so i'm kind of trying to keep whatever i had here which is the i'm eliminating all this but i'll keep the blog instead so i'm eliminating all this and keeping the slug and the id but as i'm thinking i think i should also get rid of the id and then the article so that should be something like this yeah i think this will be better because to me it sounds clean i know i'm in the blog and then i have just the slug and that's why i thought of having the slug in the database so the slug has to be unique so
to be, it becomes like the ident ID as well. And uh, if I'm to really let me see, I did this login to as the first article. I won't see it, so let me go to the last article, and I did this login to learn a bit of sorry offline coding so i'm setting it this way we are supposed to have it here at the home page no here so so if i mouse over now uh learn a bit of all uh, no, no 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 it's not taken it's not correct uh wait 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 let me confirm that is this not apply i think uh it should let me refresh the request and see yeah i think it's considered now so let me check yes so the slug is actually being considered so this is the idea i wanted so blog so if i want to eliminate the id right now i just have to come to um <coughs> this link so i passed in the id i don't know i don't know so i'll just eliminate the id and just keep the slug so blog slug that's all if we are in under tutorials we'll have tutorials slug and that'll be easy oh uh, sorry if you are using so let's say if you have a category in the blog so the how, how is that going to be we'll have a confusion because Wow, 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 wow. anyway okay 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 so we have blog for instance laravel on the blog that might happen blog and underscore react.js uh no react <laughs> forward slash react.js so uh what are we going to do it actually actually don't want to have a conflict of the urls so for instance if i say um <coughs> I say a uh, blog for instance for this article don't mind or whatever is coming so blog then we have the category if I keep it this way blog just without the ID so I have blog this log so what would be the difference between this and blog and then another category which is for instance Laravel oh I might have a conflict of URLs so Mm. I have to think about it deeper and come back to it. So some way this uh, one way of me bringing back the content here. So we can see uh, so far <coughs> I still have some few things to fix here. If I want to have uh, the date, the number of views, and the author's name, I really have to do that another work and find out how that goes. So probably that will be in, 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 in another video so thank you for watching and please share this video if you like it or subscribe to the youtube channel for future videos thank you